Welcome, 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 welcome to another uh, episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. We're going to have our immediate reaction to the robbery of the year. George Cambosis first Maxi Hughes in an egregious, horrible decision. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um. So, please also subscribe uh, to Text Box and see all proceeds my channel go to um, autism research and recovery. So, first, I want to give a, a, a heads up: uh, Box Eddie Valencia, who, Valencia, who fought on the uh, final Thompson Promotions card that was streamed on YouTube. Um, he is in the hospital; he's not doing well. So, prayers to him. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be. Uh, We'll, we'll keep you up to date on, on, on him. Um, and that's the one thing um, that sucks about our sport is how dangerous it is. That's not really controllable. It's, it, the sport is brutal by nature. It's a violent sport. And these things, unfortunately, happen. I want to get into the other horrible thing, which is controllable. And that's what we saw tonight. This is two nights in a row epitomized by what's wrong with boxing. Um, Maxi Hughes just got absolutely jobbed. That was one of the worst decisions I'd ever seen. I don't know anyone who thinks Cambosis was even competitive in that fight. 117-111 is worse than anything Adelaide Bird ever did. Nine rounds. I, I can't find more than four. How did you get nine? We're not even in the ballpark. I scored Canelo uh, Triple G one eight four Canelo. I'll go back and show you eight rounds that you can give to Canelo. You show me five that you can give to Cambosis, let alone nine. We're not even in the ballpark. Gerald Ritter with 7-5, not in the ballpark. David Sutherland, 6-6, six, six, not really in the ballpark either. But as egregious as these other two are, you know, you kind of give David Sutherland a pass, right? It's like Pacquiao Marquez, the one scored in the draw. It's like, that's not really a good scorecard either, by the way, bud. Pa Pacquiao Marquez, three. This is atrocious. Gary, uh, I'm sorry, Joseph, Gary Ritter was the rep. Joseph Mason needs to never score a fight ever again. Gerald Ritter needs to, I know he's done a lot of fights. He's old, isn't he? He needs to never score another fight again. That's how bad this is. Look, Maxi Hughes did what he does. Maxi Hughes was dominant in the fight, using his jab, pot shotting, scoring here and there, mixing in combinations, right? He outlanded him. He made he, he he made Cambosis miss over and over and over again, and I, I mean a decision like this. He's got six losses now. <clears throat> um, it's tough because he's coming off all these good ones: kids, Galahad, John Carroll, Ryan Walls, Giovanni Stefan, all 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 these Paul Highland, all these good wins. Put them all together since the Liam Walsh fight lost back in before the pandemic. Put all these wins together to get to this spot. And then he gets it taken from him. I, I was watching this, and I'm watching what he's doing. Like, yo, I, I think Cambosis is grossly overrated, which he is, which the rest of the world saw today. Um, I'm like, this is like the performance of the year. He's absolutely schooling him. He's school he can't be fighting any better. He, he's taking him to school. And then they take it from him, just like that. Now, get to Cambosis. Cambosis is the luckiest guy in the history of boxing. I said that about um, John Ryder, but it, this was 
worse than the Jacobs decision uh, that Ryder got. On top of that, to get his title shot, he got two decisions he probably didn't deserve. Mickey Bay, he probably lost. And Lee Selby, he I'll give a, he got the knockdown in the 10. He probably, okay. The Lee Selby fight. Mickey Bay was close. Uh, Lee Selby, he lost. He lost clearly. I, I didn't understand that at all. He didn't win that fight. And one judge had a 118 one th- This is like Canelo, early in Canelo's career with Cotto and Laura and Trout where, and, uh, and Floyd Mayweather. One judge really liked Canelo in every fight. Can't figure out why. One judge really likes Cambosis. 118-110 in a fight he lost um, to Selby. 115-111. Uh, it, 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 I mean, in the, in, in the in the in the TFM Lopez fight, there's one judge that always seems to like him, and now this this is the worst one seventeen one eleven Joseph Mason, who this I mean nine rounds to three. If it, I mean, did you? I had it nine rounds to three in favor of Maxi Use, guys. Um. Yeah, you know, this guy Joseph Mesa, allegedly, apparently, he's been judging fights since 1995. Uh, I'm going through his resume right now. You know, uh, he did the Regis program fight. Okay, all right. He had it 117, 110 reach. Okay, that's not bad. I'm just going through this right now. Is that really not much else on it? Yeah. Robert C. Ramirez and uh, Isaac Dog Bay. 119-108 with BC Ramirez. Yeah. Uh, he's got some, okay, he's got a little history here. He's got a little history here. Um, and it's not egregious from what I'm seeing in the past, so I, I, I don't know what this is. Um, but that is unacceptable. He needs to be investigated. He, he absolutely needs to be investigated. That was one of the worst decisions. I can't think of one scorecard that's worse than this. I, I can think of a couple that are just as bad. Worse? It's hard to get worse than this. 9-3, can't vote. For what? For getting out and... And for missing a bunch of shots and not being, it, you know, it wasn't like he was extremely active and missed a bunch of shots. Cambosis just missed a bunch of shots. And and I, I've been done said this. I've been done said this. Cambosis just had a Buster Douglas moment against uh, Tiafimo Lopez, right? So he got these lucky decisions. Then he got Tiafimo Lopez when Tiafimo Lopez uh, was about to, you know, lose his brain, lose his mind, right? So he he gets the timing, the lucky timing with Tiafimo Lopez. He beat him, whatever. Um, then he gets these 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 two gift decisions to get him another his 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 first gift decision got him the Tiafimo Lopez title shot. When then Tiafimo Lopez went crazy. And you remember the time off, the time away. Um, who bought the uh, um, Triller bought the fights originally, and that fell through, and then it went to the zone. And there was like a you know, fight didn't happen for like a year. Um, after that, he gets this now. He gets this decision, which is worse than the Selby decision. This always one judge that really, really, really likes George Cambosis, and, and and that needs to be explained to me. That needs to be explained to me. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know how 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 y'all scored it too, and, and and unfortunately, you know, for Cambosis, I mean, unfortunately for you, he worked so hard to get here, overcome those five early losses. He's had like a Tevin Farmer type resurgence in his career that started with beating Jonah Carroll. He's got a, you know an unspectacular record, and now he goes back down in a pile of of, of people who no one cares about. T, uh, speaking of. Tevin Farmer's back, right, at 135. They should make that fight. 
I, I want to see Max. I want I want to see justice for Maxi. That was an egregious assist. I want to see justice for Maxi. Uh, it is July twenty second, twenty twenty three, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.